Welcome back everyone. A very exciting day here in the studio. It is National Chili Day as you can tell from right here and some people celebrate National Chili Day with a cook off but we're going to celebrate with a taste test. We all have different samples of chili and we have some experts with us. So from Original 40 Brewing Company, Steve Billings is with us and Executive Chef of Pacific Beach Ale House, Eric Sarkeesian, both joining us this morning and they both have their own chilies on hand that we have samples of here and uh, that we're going to try out. So thank you guys both of you for being with us this morning. Thank you. Um, I want to start. Let's start with Steve. Uh, give us a little bit of a background on your location, your restaurant, as well as I want to hear about this chili recipe. What's special about your chili? Yeah, we're located on University Avenue in the heart of North Park. Our name, Original 40, comes from the original settlement of North Park, was a 40-acre citrus farm. And our chili just, uh, it's one of our cooks' uh, family recipes sent down a couple generations. Real simple, super delicious. And this, can you tell us what's, what goes into this recipe, cooking this chili? Well, there's, the big thing that goes in this chili is a secret blend of spices. And of course, we can only reveal that to a few people. Right. That makes sense. Okay. And uh, Eric, I want to give you that opportunity as well to tell us about your chili, what makes it special, and uh, let us know where you guys are at. Uh, well, my chili is only here at the PBL House. We are located at the foot of Grand Avenue down at Pacific Beach, just a few short steps to the Pacific Ocean. Uh, my chili is made special by my uh, commitment to the Southwest. Love the flavors of the Southwest. Got some cumin going on in there, chipotle, corn, black beans, pinto beans, uh, skirt steak, carne asada chili, or carne asada meat. And I think that just makes it saying, man, that's my flavors. And with it being National Chili Day, a lot of people at home might be trying to make their own chili. Um, Steve, do you have any tips or tricks um, on how people should be cooking this? Should they be doing it on, in the crock pot, instant pot, stove top? What do you think? I think all of those choices are great. Really, the trick to me is not to try and overdo it. Chili is just one of those core value cooking items. Uh, keep it simple, keep it low and keep it long and you're gonna have something really special at the end of the day. Okay, and we are testing out your guys' samples. So we have one from Alehouse, um, and we have Eric and Netta, both of our anchors, who are trying this out too. We're all doing a little bit of a taste test. Mm -hmm. And so you got, are you guys trying the, the Alehouse one? A. We, we don't, don't know. know. <laughs> We're trying A right now. Oh, um, I see, okay. I have and A is very good. Got a little kick to it. Got a yeah. little spice. I taste cinnamon. I taste spice. Um, it's got, yeah, it's got a little bit good. spiciness to it. And B. It burns a little bit on the back. I like that. I like the beans and the corn in B. And I like the meat, the, mm. the, the meat flavor, the tenderness of the meat in B. So, yeah. so what was A and what was B? Do we know? So A is the original 40. And B okay. is the L house. That's oh, wow. I As they were describing it, I was like, ooh, that's it. Both that's B. super delicious, Amazing, guys. guys. Thank yeah, you. Thanks you for guys sending over the samples. Yeah, hard to pick your favorite when they're both that good. A so. great job explaining <laughs> what both of those were. Like Netta said, you guys kind of really got that down. Um, now, in terms of your guys' locations and people coming in, say, wanting to enjoy uh, National Chili Day, uh, tell us what things are, are looking like for you guys today. Can people just come in? Uh, can they sit in your outdoor seating area or do they have to do takeout? What's the deal? I'll start with you, Steve. Yeah, we have 22 outdoor tables, so we are really set for a nice crowd this weekend and even today as the weather comes out. We have a couple of chili secret uh, menu chili items. We have a chili cheese dog today and we have chili cheese fries in addition to our regular chili entree. And can you tell us about the beer that we have here from your guys' restaurant? What's <laughs> up with that? Yeah, that's our Oscar Dodd. It's a dark Mexican lager. It's got a nice roasted uh, flavor to it. It's a dark beer, but it's still pretty light. It's only 6% alcohol, so you can, it's a real easy drinker. Uh, has a lot of flavor for a, for a dark beer like that with, that's still easy to drink. Awesome. All right, and Eric, I want to send things over for you uh, as well. What's your beer like, and uh, what's your outdoor dining or takeout locations like? Uh, this is called Beer of the Rising Sun. It's our house brewed uh, lager. It's a real crisp, light, easy drinking beer. Washes down that chili nicely, kind of cools down the spice. You can come join us in our outdoor seating. We got rooftop, we got outdoor seating on our regular patio. We have covered up our entire parking lot. It's nuts. We got more seating than we know what to do with. Uh, yeah, come on down and 
crush us with your business. This is awesome. All right, thank you so much to both of you, Steve and Eric. Uh, Pacific Beach Ale House, original 40 Brewing Company, both awesome chilies and awesome beers as well. National Chili Day, go celebrate and enjoy it. Thank you guys for being with us this morning and uh, for bringing those awesome samples in for us. Eric and Netta, what do you think? Uh, we're These done. are empty, so I think we know what we think. They're both so good. Wow, yes, what a nice spin on chili. I love having chili for breakfast. This is, should be our new thing. And then wash it down with beer when we're off work. Yes, but we're good with both that. Both of those spots look really that fun. That was to go fun. On. Thanks yeah. for that, Evan. And